What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week, you don't wanna miss them. In this video today, I'm going to be talking about five gift ideas for anyone kind of in the medical field. Whether that special one is a medical student, resident, pharmacist, already a physician, in physical therapy school, chiropractor, these are some things that I wish I would have had or did have along my path to become a surgeon, and I'm going to share those things with you guys today. So, the holidays are approaching, and you're wondering, what should I get my boyfriend or my husband who's in medical school and is struggling to uh, get by, who is overwhelmed with tests and everything else that comes with being a medical student? or if you have a friend that's a resident and you just wanna get them something for Christmas, what can you get them? So five things that I have come up with that I think are great gift ideas for that particular person. The first thing is Apple AirPods. Listening to audio as well as music got me through medical school. If you have seen any of my other videos, talk about my reasonings for not going to class and studying on my own while in medical school, unless it was mandatory. And the way I did this was that I stayed home and I listened to the audio, the lecture audio, on two speed or three speed, and then completed an entire lecture, let's say it was 50 minutes, in like 20 minutes or 25 minutes. So by listening to the audio, I was able to stop it when I wanted to. I was able to rewind it or play it quicker. And in medical school in DC, when I rode the train or when I rode the bus or driving from one hospital to another, I would listen to the lecture audios as well as review courses before I took all of my exams. AirPods would be a great gift for anyone in the medical field. Traveling from one hospital to another, whether that's listening to lecture audio, whether you're preparing for a board exam, listening to the material and getting this material into your head in a different format versus the lecture, I think is essential. So Apple AirPods, I actually have a pair myself that I use and I use them even to this day for business calls, for listening to lecture audio, to listening to different Kindle books, Apple AirPods, great gift for that significant other or that person that's in your life. The second gift idea may sound a little bit cheesy, but I actually did this in medical school. In the medical school where times can be very challenging, the exams can be very hard, your days can be very long, you get into the hospital and you're working 13, 14 hour days. You need something that keeps you motivated, that keeps you going. And for me, it was a long white coat. For those who may not know, when you are a medical student, there's a white coat ceremony that indoctrinates you into the field of medicine. You receive a white coat, but it's a short white coat. And I always envied the people walking around the hospital, the residents and the staff, because they had long white coats and I just wanted one. So in medical school, I actually went to the bookstore and bought myself a long white coat and I hung it right on my door so that when I was studying, I can look at that white coat and something that would motivate me and inspire me and encourage me to keep working hard towards my end goal. It's funny because these days I hate wearing that long white coat. It's probably somewhere in my car in the back seat, kind of balled up in the ball but I think it's a great gift idea. Whether that person wants to become a physical therapist or a chiropractor or a surgeon, a white coat is a great gift idea to inspire them and motivate them to keep going and never give up on their dreams. The next gift idea is a planner. I think the success that I have had in my medical training from getting into a top surgical residency program to getting into a really prestigious and great spine fellowship program, to going to a really good medical school at Georgetown, 
it's about planning and being disciplined in your studies and using your time efficiently. Before my week even started in medical school and now even as a fellow, I write out everything that I need to accomplish that week and I put time constraints on it. I'm going to review this chapter for one hour. I'm going to read this textbook for two hours. I need to go to the gym from three to four and I need to come home at six to seven to do research. So if you write everything out and you plan your days, I think this will help you be more efficient and be more successful in your studies. Having a planner allows you to do this in medical school as well as any other professions that are out there. The fourth gift suggestion that I have for you guys is a medical clipboard. I used a medical clipboard during my clerkships in my third year, as well as fourth year in medical school, as well as even as a resident. Some of the clipboards have different parameters for lab values, for different measurements, for different mnemonics that you need to know, progress note templates, because all the notes that we do in the hospital have to be done a certain way. A clipboard is a great uh, gift idea for that student who's a nursing student, medical student, any student kind of in the medical field, a clipboard is a great gift idea. The last gift idea I have for you guys is a suturing kit. No matter if you're going into surgery, emergency medicine, anesthesia, you will have to know how to suture, or at least the basics. I think a suturing kit will allow you to stand out as a third year medical student, as a fourth year medical student on your surgery rotations, as well as your emergency medicine rotations where you do a lot of suturing. What I did as a medical student is get some suturing materials from the hospital and I would go home and practice suturing like on a banana or a suturing kit. I used this suturing kit to perfect my suturing skills so when it came time to do my surgery rotation, I was somewhat familiar with how to suture. These are my five gift ideas for you guys. I will put links to all of these in the description. I hope this helps you in deciding how and what to buy for your significant other or someone that's in the medical field. But thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. We'll see you next time.